I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Bruh. Your loss. Vina Madrana has been making some of the internet's most fluid animations for so many years. When I was like in high school, I'm pretty sure. And really amazing anthro designs. So, when Hasbun first came out in 2019, it's been so many years since the pilot, goddamn. I consider the pilot a masterpiece in animation. Voice acting, music, colors, writing, and so much more. I truly loved it many years ago. and so glad, so happy that it was picked up by a huge company like Amazon and of course, A24. I love their movies for the most part. I'm talking about A24s because they're weird, they're wacky, and they're most unique and original. And I appreciate that. It's amazing how we went from supremely talented artists and voice actors to hitting it big like the dream big and I do support that wholeheartedly I do feel bad for the original voice actors who will all switched out for more famous star powered ones or so which you know companies you know usually do but still I, I do miss them and I wish them the best because they did an amazing job amazing work has been hotel and its counterpart hell of a boss are fantastic shows I do love hell of a boss for the most part for the same reasons as has been hotel the animation the voice actors and the lore of both shows since you know they're in the same universe in regards to the hierarchies and overall stories, I really do enjoy them. Hasbin's first four episodes dropped last week, and there's four more left, and about one per week. So far, the show does have incredible animations and songs, at about two per episode, and let me tell you, they're bangers. I keep humming them or listening to them, and it's bad. Please, get them out. Losers, Poison, and Stayed Gone are my favorites in that order. God damn, I can't. Stop, please, stop. Fucker's back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good, too. It's been seven years! You still pissed? He almost beat you that time. If you don't know the story, it's simple. Every year, Heaven sends angels to cull and kill as many demons as possible because they grow in number so much every year. And Heaven fears their power in numbers, so they purge them, basically. Our main character is the daughter of Lucifer Morningstar and Lilith. She wants to redeem the sinners of hell by, by making them good and proving to Heaven that they can change. So she creates a hotel to teach them to redeem themselves. Essentially, that's what the plot is. We have Husker the Drinker, voiced by Keith David, who personally has an amazing voice, especially when he sings, goddammit. I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could Improv this shit, baby cakes. <laughs> Whoops. Husk, come on. Angel does the pro star who is one of my favorites especially with husk and angel he's always funny and coming on to anything and anyone and i really do mean coming which is obviously an act and i really do enjoy that charlie's the ditzy one with grand dreams of making everyone good and feel with good dreams and goodness which is basically like a disney parody on crack i do hope we see more of her soon and more of our what's her deal what her deal is and of course alistair the radio dean is obviously the top motherfucker and i love his design his voice his mysteries and overall character always creepy and entertaining Being wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly, like you are doing now. Good job. Your choice. If I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. <laughs> You always gotta watch out for the motherfuckers who are always quiet, respectful, because you never know what the fuck they're gonna do. Some of the new characters are very entertaining, like Angel, Owner slash Pimp, Valentino. I like his Hispanic deliveries in certain seeds. I appreciate it. Keep it up, you bastard. What can I do for such a... Ah, uh, no thank you. Mm, lovely specimen. Both richer than well. Your papito. Fuck no! Vox, who's jealous of Alistor and has a rivalry with him? Well, a one-sided rivalry because he can't compete with the Wendigo ass bastard himself. Oh, this will be fun. I love the series, especially the songs, which are absolutely bangers, like I said. I swear to God, you have no idea how many times I've listened to Loser, Poison, and Stayed Gone. It's genuinely a problem, but I love it. Some of the characters like Adam is one motherfucker you want to hate. God, you love to hate him because he's very entertaining. And I love his singing voice. He's definitely one of the best ones out there. And see how much better it gets. I got you. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I got you again, bitch! <laughs> Fucking hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> Hasbin isn't perfect, far from it. The story is fine, but also so there are some weaker elements there where nothing's happening and sometimes an episode at chunks. It's moving really fast, like really fast. The series, like I said, only has eight episodes, but uh, the stuff they want to do would be better if it had more episodes to flesh them out or waste, stop wasting time with certain characters, moments and stuff and just speed it up a little bit because damn, we move fast and it kind of compromises some of the character points and story. We have character moments where we're supposed to care about shit, like with Vaggie and Charlie, but I mean, we 
don't know Vaggy at all, at least up until this point. And a lot of the jokes don't land for me. It has cringy humor and writing at times, but after watching the first four episodes, I've noticed they've been getting better. Except for episode three. Episode three is kind of the worst for some reason. Hella Boss had similar problems, but got much better, and I guarantee you it will get better here too. It has been getting better already. Amazon Prime has done it again. They successfully created another hit series that's going to blow up and has been blowing up. Can't wait for season two. So what did you think of Hasman Hotel? Has it lived up to the hype? Do you think it's going to get better than the last four episodes? Who do you like? What do you not like? Well, comment below and let me know and uh, let's discuss. This is Red Am Jung, signing off.